Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, your boy, the man, NJ to the city with the number two and or T.O. Repping Brotherhood Nation Entertainment and Triple City Music and a lot of other things, a lot of other places, a lot of other states, a lot of other relationships and other stuff like that. But this is me with Life in the 904. Now, definitely, I don't have a ton of other people in the room with me to do a more legit um, episode of Life in the 904. But definitely, like I say, more episodes with other people will be coming definitely soon. Here is a version of Life in the 904. So here's a episode of Life in the 904 where I'm talking about homemade jerseys. Now, I have friends who play various, various sports. And these are some homemade jerseys that I made for them. I made three homemade jerseys. And I got this idea. Okay, this is Bruin homemade t-shirt jerseys. And I got this idea um, back in my freshman year, back in 20, 2013, second half of 2013. Um, while I was at a football game, and I saw one of the one of the girls had um, their a boyfriend's um, uh, name and number on the on the front and back of their um, their uh, t-shirt. So I came up with the exact same. Well, I kind of you know decided to copy her with it. I don't know her, don't know her name. I just know I saw her at the game wearing a shirt with her boyfriend's or or, or one of her good friends, um, you know, names and numbers on the um, t-shirt. So that's where I got the idea from. Um, here it is, um, Shine On It, MVP, Superstar, Peak, Potential Patricia. Now, in that case, shout out, God bless, my good friend, Peak Potential Patricia. Peak Potential Patricia Sanchez. Shout out, God bless her. That's what the, f the front of this jersey says, or the front of this t-shirt jersey says. The back of it says, um, right there, Sanchez, number nine, Varsity. Now, I wore this a few times last year or the year before that, I believe it was last year. Yeah, I wore this a few times. Uh, I went to two other games, and I think I went to two or two other games, and I um, wore this. But yeah, that's what it says for now. Shine on it, MVP, Superstar, Peak Potential, Patricia. So that is her nickname, Peak Potential. Patricia, has, Patricia is her actual name. Patricia Sanchez is her actual name, but this is her nickname that I gave her, Peak Potential. And that's one of the jerseys. This other one is for my BFFL, Sam Harmon, of which I've shouted out in multiple songs, especially Die For Part 2. Um, but you can definitely listen to the new 2016 Perspectives for 904, and you'll actually hear, again, multiple various more shoutouts that I gave her. And now, this shirt is definitely blurry, so I'll try to get out the best way I can. Um, I would say this is a talk entertainment, but no, it's actually the, actually the life in the 904. What would make the life in the 904 actually more legit is if you actually saw, if there was actually someone else filming me, um, talking about whatever topic, you, you know, we were talking about, or if I was filming them and we were talking about whatever topic that we were talking about and whatnot. But, um, this is what this shirt says. For my BFFL, Sam Harmon, um, shine on it, my always in fever, Sam Harmon, BFFL, 24-7, um, to you, from me, love and care, and God first, I shout out to tell, 116 Unashamed, number nine. Now, I know it's very, very blurry to hear that. I mean, not really hear it, but to see it. But I will say it again. Shine on it, my always in favor, Sam Harmon, BFFL, 24-7, to you, from me, love and care, God first, I shout out to tell, 116 and Unashamed, number nine. And this is what I have on the back of it. I have her name written on the back of it. I kind of definitely messed this shirt up because Harmon was supposed to be written better than this. Like the M was supposed to be written better than this, but this is just what I ended end up happening. So right there, Harmon, NHS, Superstar, Softball, Varsity. Um, I don't know what the heck that says. Actually, he says Spark, number nine. NHS, Superstar, Softball, Varsity, Spark, number nine. Like, it's blurry because I've washed these shirts a few times, so that's definitely blurry. But I'm probably going to make more and or better jerseys than this. But definitely, if I never do wear these again, they definitely will be framed eventually for myself or for the, you know, or, f or for me to give a gift to the girls as, you know, token of my fan appreciation towards them, so forth and so forth. But I will be wearing these jerseys eventually again this year. I don't know when, but I will be wearing them again this year. And here it is, um, the last one. Um, this was obviously, this is an another one for Patricia. And this is the one that people call me crazy for writing on because 
like that saying wasn't crazy, but the shirt that I wrote it on was crazy. This is a polo shirt. And now, yes, a lot of y'all probably like, boy, you wrote on a polo shirt? Yes, I did. Did I have any full regrets about it? No. One of the reasons why I don't have any full regrets about it because of how many other polo shirts I have. And because how easy it is for me to go out to the store right now and buy more if I wanted to. But for the people who are offended, forgive me for riding on a polo shirt. To all the people out there who are starving for some polo gear, forgive me for, you know, riding on this polo shirt. But the saying, I will never forgive. The saying of it, I will never forgive. Meaning what's on written on the shirt, I will never forgive. Like, I will never... Now, I know, I know, I know, not that I'll never forgive. I was, I was trying to say I'll never really um, ask for forgiveness for the saying because the saying is completely encouraging. The saying is varsity volleyball superstar MVP potential Patricia. This is the one that I watched, another one that I watched. The only difference is that um, I kind of messed up the B right here. And I almost, I guess you could say, I ended up messing up the shirt because you see all the purple on it but right there varsity volleyball superstar mvp potential patricia and here sanchez nhs i don't know what else i said i think i said sanchez nhs volleyball varsity like i say i may end up retiring these jerseys maybe not i don't know all i know is that indefinitely it's still worth stretching out um at least for my taste it's Worth stretching out more. It's it's worth actually um putting on and sporting. I mean, I got a lot of friends that I support. I have a lot of friends that I shout out in music. Again, if you listen to Lately Six, you'll definitely hear a lot of friends that I shouted out. If you listen to at least definitely the March Madness album, you'll hear some shout outs or a lot of shout outs with people. Um, you'll hear the same thing in um same thing in song in songs off the new 2016 perspectives for the 904. More music continuously coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. iTunes will be hitting very soon. That means eventually I will get on iTunes. Um, like I said, I got more videos to post on live. I'm still not on it, but again, that will be coming soon. By the grace of God, hopefully before this year is over. But I'm just saying, yeah, you see these. Um, sorry, this one's still you know, blurred, but you see what I got right now thus far with these homemade jerseys. Now, this is obviously not hard to make any homemade jerseys, okay? This is obviously not hard to make any homemade jerseys, but or homemade t-shirt jerseys. But, and definitely, this is just my way of showing my fan love, support, and encouragement towards all these girls. And I'm not ashamed because of the fat being. They love it. I love it. I love them. They love me. It's all love and 100 on this side. That's why we always down to Jesus above all ride. You will hear that same bar I just spit in Legend Part 2, which is the... Out of the three legends that I've made, out of the three songs of the legend I've made, that's the one that I'm most proud of is Legend Part 2. And what I'm trying to say is that I've made, I put a legend on the March Madness album, then I put one on um, Forever Misunderstood, then I put one on Best Rapper Alive, Power of Influence album. Um, but the one I'm most proud, the one I'm most proud of is Legend Part 2. That's the one I definitely want to be played everywhere. You know, but yeah, Shine On It, MVP, Superstar, Peak Potential, Patricia. And um, these other shirts. Like I said, I got a lot more other jerseys, t-shirt jerseys that I'm going to make eventually, you know, to dedicate to my friends, you know. You know, and that's just that, you know. Like I said, it's just me showing my fan love, support, and encouraging people. And I'm just saying, I already have written songs about it. I've put songs out about it, you know, and other people have made songs about it, you know. I'm just saying, I'm sorry that if any of the love that I give my friends are overwhelming, so this is to all my friends out there. I'm sorry that if any of the love I give y'all and show y'all, while, while I show and spread to y'all, I'm sorry if it's overwhelming. Please forgive me, you know, if it is overwhelming. And please don't be afraid to tell me if it's overwhelming because I'm not trying to offend you in any, any type of way. But and definitely, I'm just saying that this is really what's up when it comes to the whole cycle of me and homemade t-shirt jerseys. And I'm just saying that definitely, you know, you know, I mean, this is somewhat, this, this is just stuff that I'm like, you could say arts and crafts and or stuff I'm kind of like willing to, willing to die for. Still, I'm kind of still willing to die for. At least the one thing I know within this whole process of making these I'm willing to die for, the only thing I know I'm willing to die for is the love and affection that I carry, you know, with everybody. 
I don't joke around when I keep saying how much I love everybody and I care about everybody and I want everybody to make a better tomorrow. I'm not joking when I say that. I mean it. I love it. I believe it. I'll die for it. I'm passionate about it. And that's just that. You know, a lot of people don't like nice people. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to be liked by everybody. I know I'm not going to be liked by everybody. But the goal is to be liked by as many people as you can be liked by. The goal is as well to make, you know, get mainstream headlines through your talents and your skill and your charm and your wisdom and charisma. Not by making yourself look like a complete idiot. Not by, not by making yourself look, look like a complete goofball. Unless that is your job to be a complete goofball. You know, not unless that is your talent to be a complete goofball. But for me, it's to get, you know, get, get it off my charm, my wisdom, my personality, my attitude, my respect, everything else like that. But yeah, these are the homemade t-shirt jerseys, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to making more. Look forward to supporting my friends. Look forward to carrying on, you know, because, like, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to come back to my school, NHS, and going to go come back to a lot of other schools, you know, and continue promoting and putting them bigger and bigger on the map. And I'm just going to keep on, you know, doing my thing towards encouraging everybody and, and just like, like putting, these, putting these schools on the map, encouraging these kids and whatnot. Because you're going to hear in a song called My Inspiration Part 2. All these young kids are my inspiration. Meaning all these elementary, elementary school kids and middle school kids and even these kids right now in high school, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, even the kids in college. You know, you're all my inspiration to continuously be better for myself and to make and, and to make you know make something good of myself and to actually shine on it and live up to everything which I know I preach. You all are my inspiration to make it. You all are my inspiration to you know get it. You know, because I'm willing to. I, again, I love all of you and I'm willing to die for each and every last one of you because that's just how my personality is. That's just how my personality is. Like I say, I cannot sing everything, but I can sing some things. But one of the biggest, or not one of the biggest, but one of the most memorable rounds I've ever, I've ever spit is I can rap, I can sing, I can do almost anything. That is one of my most memorable rounds that I've ever spit. Besides Jesus Christ, besides Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, the one to stand unashamed, God for the reason why I spread and share, and spread and share love to all my neighbors. I started saying that, but you guys understand what I meant. Okay? That's that. Okay, but I'll say it again. Two of the most memorable rounds I've ever spit is um, I can rap, I can sing, I can do almost anything. And Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, the one sixteen unashamed, God first reason why I spread and share love to all my neighbors. To make it rhyme, you take the S off neighbors and just say neighbor. To make it feel like a fully rhyme. But like I said, these are the jerseys, y'all. I thank y'all for tuning in. Like I say, I'm going to continuously, you know, keep on spreading. And keep, I'm going to continuously just keep on preaching what I'm preaching, the purpose of what I'm trying to do when it comes to the impact I'm trying to have on this world. I'm going to continuously preach that in my music, and I hope y'all definitely like it, love it, enjoy it, and, you know, listen to it, study it, and realize what's up. Because that's just how it is. You know, I'm going to continuously preach in my music what my, what my influences are, what my inspirations are, what my dreams are, what my loves and, and sorry, loves and relationships. I'm gonna keep continue preaching my life, really, my life story and everything else I just named. So thank y'all for um, watching this life in the 904. Sorry, all you all you've really seen is these, um, yeah, these homemade t-shirt jerseys and me talking. But like I say, God bless y'all. Thank you for your time. Moin to the city music coming soon. God first. God of everything. God of money. Jesus above all. You know what's up. Your border man, Angie Titus City out. Peace.